Hello everyone, this is Mr. Hebner. I just wanted to uh, go over paramagnetism real quick. Uh, in the other video there's uh, quick notes explaining the idea. Uh, this is the demonstration, kind of seeing the idea in practice. Remember paramagnetism is uh, a slight attraction to a, a magnetic field based off of the d orbitals and whether they are partially filled or not. So if it is diamagnetic, that means all of the d orbitals would be filled with two electrons. Paramagnetism means that there are going to be a few that are not paired. So we're looking at manganese 2 plus. Looks like it's going to be one of the most paramagnet, paramagnetic of um, pretty much any of them, uh, other than iron being ferromagnetic. You got calcium 2 plus. We look at it, um, the outer valence is electrons are taken away. So I'm showing the next energy level, 3s2, 3p6. And it's totally filled, There's and there's not even any d uh, electrons there. So this one's diamagnetic for sure. It's not going to be moved by the presence of a magnetic field. Zinc 2 plus. Take away the two outer electrons, and you got a full... Uh, 3d orbital no partially filled so this is going to be very diamagnetic nothing's going to impact it and then we have copper 2 plus take the two outer electrons away and it's it's very diamagnetic but there is one d suborbital that has just one electron in it that's unpaired so this is going to be slightly paramagnetic so that is my hypothesis what we're now going to do is go to the actual chemicals. All right, let's make this thing bigger. How can we do this? There we go. Okay, so what we got right here is there it is. Uh, neodymium. That is on the periodic table. ND number 60. ND number 60. Neodymium. Neodymium. Try to say that 10 times fast. Uh, it's a super magnet. And just so you can see, here's some iron. Let's tip this down kind of fun. Ooh, that's pretty strong. All right. It's really strong stuff. All right, so we're going to test these um, chemicals. It's not double-sided, so let's see. This one is mang manganese and then copper 2+. plus. Okay, all these white powders look similar. All right, so Copper 2 plus, we said was, I believe, slightly paramagnetic. Oh, that's this one, copper 2 plus. <laughs> it's all backwards from my end. Ooh, it's like got a magical force here. So it is slightly impacted, just so, which confirms our hypothesis that copper 2 plus is slightly paramagnetic. Then we said manganese 2 plus was the most paramagnetic. So let's see that one. Whoa, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Science. All right, we're going to scooch over to the next one. Okay, so. These two, we said were going to be kind of duds. They're not paramagnetic whatsoever. They are what we call diamagnetic. See, that's true. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Not too exciting. Uh, we got zinc. Not doing a thing. Looks like there's something to this paramagnetism and... Um, something with the d orbitals because everything we said earlier is true experimentally 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Till next time, have a great one.